Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I want to do a uh, test uh, driving for one of the recent uh, breakthrough for stable diffusion, which is called a uh, control net. So it allows uh, a really great uh, control over the stable diffusion. So how do you want the subject to look like? How do you want the position for each object to be? Right, so those can be like fine controlled. So, uh, so this uh, is a great work from one of the author called uh, Lu Ming Zhang. So, so I I think he's a student from Stanford. So, he has been working on the computer vision for quite many years. Like uh, even start from, uh, like uh, college, I think. Uh, yeah, I I think uh, he got a, a really great work, and uh, right now he's doing lots of contribution to stable diffusion community, and uh, I think uh, we should uh, all thank him. So, so uh, he published uh, his code on GitHub called uh, ControlNet, so. So, uh, at a first glance, I think uh, the idea is to use a separate uh, network to control the stable diffusion network. So, uh, yeah, I will not go through the details. Yeah, welcome to check his uh, report out. So, um, so for today, I want to do a quick demo of it. So I already cloned uh, this report to my local drive, and uh, here it is. And I, there's uh, some environment uh, uh, file that you can copy. So that's where you can cr like create uh, all the dependency. So, and uh, And I will activate uh, the conda environment. And uh, today I will, will do the candy edge to image pipeline here. So I will start it. Okay, so I think uh, it shows the information that uh, running on local URL. So I will open it right here. Yeah, uh, I think uh, it looks very familiar. So yeah, it, especially if you have been following through my previous video. So I think it's very similar to the previous uh, interface I showed there. So, so. So there's a, like a, the input will be a image, and uh, there's a prompt, and there's a run, and there's a advanced options. One thing I I I found that uh, you may need to change the seed to negative one, which allows it to be randomized. Okay, and here are some some additional prompt here. Yeah, I will give give it a quicker test run. So let's uh, yeah, I will use one of the image I like uh, demonstrated uh, in my previous uh, video, which is uh, image to image UI. So I will use the exact uh, same image right here, so you can compare them. All right. So so this is the image, and I will simply uh, write uh. uh Go. Okay, and uh, and I will click run. Yep, 
Yeah, there's a progress bar in the terminal here. Yeah, I, I feel like uh, compared to like regular stable diffusion, it just seems a little bit uh, slow. I guess because there's some, some extra interaction between the neural networks there. But I think uh, uh, because it's uh, only work, I think uh, we can expect uh, improvements like pretty soon. All right, we, we can see that. So, so, so the output, uh, there will be like uh, two images. So on the left, there's a canny edge, like detected uh, image. So the, the, it's basically based on your input, it will detect all those canny edge lines, like similar to like, like what you draw with a pencil. So and then using this canny, canny edge detected uh, lines, the control net were able to transfer it to the stable diffusion, and then based on those uh, canny edge outlines, they were able to add uh, the like jaw like following those uh, outlines. So that will be exactly the same like as your input image. Like for example, the position you see the the beach, the sea front uh, water line here, right? So there's one, two, three, there's one, two, three here on the right side. Uh, and then if you look at the the bag here, so it will be almost uh, the same right here. Yeah, I think it, yeah, if you look at it this way, it'll be exactly the, the same here. Uh, there's uh, some hair you see the black hair here to the lens here. So I think those are really like uh, astonishing. I feel like uh, you can control like almost 99% uh, of the all the elements you want to control, right? So you are able to do like a copy and a paste here. So it's basically, but uh, on the left, it's uh, actual uh, like a real world image. It's a real world image, and on the right, it's uh, generated by the stable diffusion model. So it's, uh, but you can just uh, like compare the two, and I think it's really astonishing. Like imagine like a, like a how else you can do with it. All right, yeah. Uh, I will I will do another another run. I will to give it uh, like a more like a controls. Green dress, um, yellow pants. Sunglasses. Daylight. Okay, let's uh, try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> yeah, we can see see it. Okay. Yeah, this is the Kenny Edge lines. And this is the final output. So let me make it this light. One additional feature for this uh, control net is that uh, it's able to control not only the stable diffusion one point five base model, but uh, like almost all the custom model, it's also able to control them. So in this uh, uh, GitHub page, the, the authors like mentioned that there's a tool that uh, to be able to uh, transfer the control to like other custom models. So let's uh, take a quick look here. So here it's uh, uh, transferring the control net. So in here, the authors uh, explains it in lots of details and also uh, he provided a, a script to do that. So I, I did uh, give it a try and I was able to uh, transfer the control to anything three. So let's uh, 
take a quick look and I will do a quick demo. So here it is, I have the SD15 Kenny H model, like uh, from their uh, Hugging Face uh, rap. And then I used uh, the script to transfer the control to the Anything V3. So here I have the model here, and then I load it into my Gradia app. So so now I will do a quick demo of it. All right, so. Yeah, I will still use this one, and uh, one go. I will increase the step to 25. Click wrong. Yeah, so here's the progress bar here. And yes, we do see that uh, right now it becomes uh, anime style. All right, let's uh, try another one. Use one of the input image here. And I'll, I'll use this one and I will provide uh, some uh, commands here, and I'll do yeah. All right, as you can see. Uh, it is able to generate a uh, uh, anime style, really, like a con in controlled way, right? So I think that's uh, really great news because, uh, for example, there are so many custom models in the community, and uh, you were able to transfer the control method to almost all of them. I think that's really amazing. Yeah. I can't wait to see what uh, people can do with those uh, custom uh, controllable models. Yeah, I think uh, there's uh, so many potentials. I'm really excited about it. All right. So one thing I, I wanted to, to, to do is uh, also to do a quick uh, playing of the parameters here. So as you can see, there's uh, lots of uh, parameters that you can play with. Let's uh, give it a try here. So one thing I found it's very interesting is the control strength here. So in the control strength, so let's, uh, for example, we can try to like 0.6. And then we can see, do some quicker comparison. Yeah, I think, uh, so so now it becomes a little bit uh, um, freedom like compared to the original image. If you give it a a small number of control strengths, but uh, what if you give it a higher number of the control strengths? Yeah. So this one is uh, a little bit a uh, higher control and. Uh, I think uh, by giving it a higher number, you can see that, uh, for example, the the tennis court here, it becomes uh, exactly the same. I think it to give it more bit of control here. So if if that's not what you want, I, I think you can should lower the number. All right, yeah, that's just one example of like uh, playing with the, the input parameters here. And of course, there are some other parameters that you can try to do, like for example, the Kenny H, which is specifically to this uh, Kenny H methods. And uh, you can also um, um, see that there's uh, some additional prompts here. All 
All right. So let's let's do another one. Yeah, let's do another one here to see what uh, the anything V3 style will be able to generate here. So let's uh, take a quick look. Just make sure. Okay, let's uh, click a uh, wrong. Yeah, I think a beautiful. I think uh, it do look a little bit strange. Like uh, the the right arm is not uh, really great. So I think uh, we may need uh, to increase the steps. Let's increase uh, to thirty five. And also the we can increase the guidance to like uh, ten. and uh, run it. Yeah, I think uh, much better, right? So the, the right arm seem looks uh, much better and uh, we do see that uh, mm, like uh, the body image are very much look exactly the same as the input image and we also see that there are lots of like uh, details for example the classroom or the books the desks Cheers, almost uh, that's the same. All right, so that's all for today's demo. Yeah, I hope you enjoy my video. So if you want to try it yourself, please go to the GitHub uh, repo page. There's uh, detailed uh, instruction there include uh, different uh, multiple methods. In addition to the Kenny Edge, there's the LSD. There's uh, like different lines, there's uh, HED boundary, so which allows you to customize the color scene. So you are able to like uh, uh, fine tune the like different color scene there. It also comes with the like user scribbles. So you can basically hand draw the shape. It will able to control it for stable diffusion. So really, really like amazing. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a, it's a looks uh, really amazing. Yeah, please uh, give it a try. And I think uh, yeah, there's a there's a, a lot going on in the community. It's kind of this difficult to like catch up. But I I hope my video can help you to to learn some of the new stuff going on. I hope you enjoy my video today. Thank you very much. Goodbye.